Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we'll be talking about Time Class Light Filament. It's a water soluble filament made in the USA that's flexible like a TPU and it's designed to diffuse light. Uh, the website describes it as diffusing light like an optical fiber. So we're going to take a look at the Time Class website, we're going to do some tests with it, and I'm going to give you my thoughts and feedback. So let's get into it. Right, so this is Time Class Filament website section. So they have a variety of different filaments, and I purchased a few of these, but they have one that is a 3D printed soap, uh, one that's for like a plant vitamin nutrients, stick and glow. They've got a variety of different filaments, but today we'll be talking about this light filament. So let's take a look at that. All right, so kind of how this is advertised is that it's supposed to work like optical fiber. Um, and the idea is it's supposed to create something that glows extremely well uh, with different lighting and, and really kind of advertised as something that will spread the light around. So I bought this with hopes of creating kind of some cosplay props where I would have LEDs behind it. I'm working on a sting prop, the uh, sword from Lord of the Rings and Hobbit that glows. So I was really hoping that this would work well to create kind of a glowing effect where I'd have an LED in the blade and then I could use this as the blade structure. So uh, I purchased this filament along with some others, which I will do videos on later. And then uh, we're gonna take a look at this. Uh, I've did some testing, so let's get into uh, what this looks like. So one negative I found out, again, this is similar to a TPU, is this was just in my garage. It must've gotten a little bit humid, but some of these layers had started to bond together. I don't know if you can see, some of these are sticking a little bit. Um, so again, just with some general humidity, I'm a little bit concerned about how well they stick. So the water solubility is interesting, but it can also um, have a negative impact as well just in your filament storage. So something to keep in mind. All right, so this is the setup here. I've got about a foot of the Time Plus light filament cut, and I've got this very nice scientific beaker filled with tap water at room temperature. I'm going to put the filament in the water and then put a time-lapse camera on it and we're going to come back in about 24 hours and see how it looks. So I will dunk this in, we'll watch the time-lapse and take a look. So we are a little less than 24 hours in and you can see the filament is fully dissolved. Um, there's a little bit of residue in there. Let me see if I can shake this a little bit. Uh, but basically the whole thing is just dissolved and gone, which is pretty crazy. So yeah, less than 24 hours and that foot of filament is gone. All right, so I went back and watched the time-lapse footage and it really took a lot less than 24 hours. It looks like it took roughly you know, five to six hours, and there's a little bit of the kind of glittery sediment in the bottom, but uh, really impressed with how fast that dissolved. All right, so this is two different pieces I printed. On my left, this is a, basically a clear polypropylene filament, and what I printed is basically different test layers. Um, so this is like a, it steps up, so I've got like a, half millimeter, a millimeter 1.5 and two. The idea was how can I see what the opacity looks like? You know, it's got a nice smooth flat bottom and how does essentially LEDs show through these? And I printed the same thing in the light filament. Um, it's got a little bit more of a yellow tint to it. Um, just my brightness a little bit here, but it's got a little bit yellow tint to it. You can see um, that it's got that pearlescence in it that does show up. Again, it's kind of hoping that would scatter, um, and I'll show this on an LED in a second here. Uh, this is obviously much floppier, and then just for a heads up, um, I did show this reacts in water, but I did just try to wash this off because I used some glue on the back, and it definitely reacted and made this very slippery. Uh, you can see this being 100% infill on both of these. It printed cleanly in the PLA, uh, but I would need to adjust my extrusion a little bit since I got a lot of overflow on some of these. Uh, but that's doing 100% infill to try to get some better opacity. So we're going to put an LED on and see how these uh, disperse the light a little bit. All right, this is my flexible LED filament. I got this off Amazon. I'll link this in the description uh, if you're interested at all. 
but this was kind of my test filament. I wanted to see how well this shown through the different thicknesses and how well it dispersed it. Uh, you can see, so this is the PLA block. You can see really it's pretty visible uh, across on the half millimeter. On the one, it starts to uh, go out a little bit. On the 1.5, it's still, still visible and still lighting up through. And then on the two, it's uh, visible. The camera picks up a little bit better, but it's really starting to fade out at two millimeters. And it doesn't really, it spreads out a little bit. Um, it's not too bad, but really I feel like one is a lot the better sweet spot for showing the thickness through this. So this is, again, kind of the benchmark. This is existing PLA I have. So I wanted to see how well the time plast light uh, showed up with it. So this is the time plast light. Uh, again, this is half down here and one. I was really hoping to see this spread out more. Um, but if I put these, you know, right next to each other, you know, one after another, I almost feel like I get more spread with the PLA. And again, these are all 100% infill, but I think I get a bit more spread out with that one than I do with the, the time blast. Uh, and then if we go to the uh, 1.5 and 2, Similar where it's even more, I think, opaque on the two than the PLA. Uh, so that's the two time plast up here, and this is the two uh, PLA down here. And again, I think I get more spread. So really on this test of the thickness, um, I felt like the PLA that I have already works better than this time plast light filament. So kind of disappointed in that, um, but I wanted to test some other things as well to see how it looks. All right, so we got our same filament here, um, and I've got two different tests. Is I've got this is a 20% infill, um, and trying to see kind of how this extends out. You can't see it down the cylinder, but I was trying to see if again the way the time pass was advertised, it would act like a um, fiber optic filament and, and kind of display up. You can see on this one uh, the blue. I got to make sure I have the blue behind it. It does permeate a little bit on this 20 percent um it scatters a little bit throughout but it doesn't show up too much i think it's just too thick and this is a thin led so it doesn't show the the brightness through it a lot if i put the time plast on here this is also 20 percent um you know similar you can see the bottom lights up a little bit i just gotta make sure i don't go there but really you can't see through it at all um it's really i, I Based on the description, I thought it would conduct the light a lot better, but it really doesn't seem to scatter it up through the filament at all. Um, and then I also did the same thing. This is the same, same cylinders. This is a PLA with 100% infill. Uh, again, you can see it lights up the bottom a little bit for some of that thickness, but not too far into it. Um, and then no, not visible through it at all. And then time plast, I didn't get a... I had this print failed again. I had over extrusion on this, but this will work for our purposes. Uh, it lights up a bottom a little bit again, but even with how thin this is, there's nothing coming through this thickness. So, in my opinion, this just doesn't scatter the light well, based on how they described it. It's just not. It's not doing what I wanted. And then the fact that this is water soluble is neat but it's just not really for an application that I want to use it with. There might be something further down the line that I can, can do with this filament, but for right now, um, this is probably going to go on the shelf until I find a better use for it. So that's uh, kind of my review in a nutshell. It doesn't really do what I hoped. Uh, there might be some application further down the line, but I guess for most projects I'm working with, I feel like this PLA performs better with light dispersion and then I also feel like, as far as printability, the PLA works easier as well than dealing with something that's TPU. Um, and again, if you want something that, it, it's a very specific product in my opinion. If you want something that's TPU made in the USA water soluble, this is a very unique product. And they've got some other filaments that I've purchased that I want to review and test as well. Um, but as far as the light filament, uh, there might be an application. I just don't have anything for it right now. So unfortunately, it's going to go on the shelf for the time being until I can find something to do with it. Um, if you guys have other thoughts on projects to try, please let me know. I can always be willing to print other things. So if you put anything, uh, put some suggestions in the comments, I definitely appreciate it. 
Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks.